Hello, welcome or welcome back to my design and lettering channel and another plan with me video. This time we are setting up my spreads for September. As I used vibrant colors for my summer spreads, I was happy to mute them down for September. Don't get me wrong, I love vibrant colors, but I also love the magic of muted ones. And for bullet journaling, I think I kind of prefer using muted colors at the moment. If you're here to plan along with me, don't forget to grab your favorite stationaries. And if you're here for some inspirational creative input, grab something to drink, sit back and relax. As you can see, I sketched my design roughly beforehand to save us some time. This time I wanted to incorporate a window in my front page. So this is where we start. I marked a rectangle of 10 spaces in width and almost the full length, leaving three spaces from the top and bottom. I wrote September in a modern cursive font and cut around that. The tip of my cutting knife broke some time ago because I pressed too hard, <laughs> but ever since cutting round a wavy lines is somehow easier now. As we have to see how prominent the design will look before working on the front page, we have to paint what will be in that window. I sketched the abstract branch with pencil first. Then I took out my White Knight's watercolors and mixed some muted tones. I decided to go with some reddish and green tones. To mute and lighten them, I mixed a good amount of yellow ochre in them. To mute them further, I used the opposite color of the color wheel. I will mention the used colors in the info box though. Let me know if you want to see me doing a video on how to mix muted colors. I had to cut that out of the video because it would exceed the framework. As the Bucho from Notebook Theory doesn't handle water too good, I mixed some white in to make the colors lighter. I started with the lightest colors and drawn some shapes over the sketch area, leaving enough white so it doesn't look too crowded.
written a line over in 03, I went over the bridge. I've drawn some leaves, some flowers and some berries. With the 01, I painted the petals of the flowers and filled some of the leaves for more contrast. Next to this branch, I've drawn two lavender-like plants. To make the painting a bit more whimsical, I placed some dots around the painting. Now we can turn back to the front page. With the Princeton Art Round Brush in the size 1, I wrote September in the muted green color. And isn't that a nice color? With the pinkish color, I went around the window. By the way, if you like my video so far, I would be very happy if you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well, so you don't miss any further content. And I always look forward to hearing your stories, comments and suggestions. So leave me a comment. On the left page, I wrote a quote from Winston Churchill, which says, Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. I like that quote because it is thought provoking. I interpret it as do not rest on your success and don't rely on it too much. But on the other side, if you fail doing something, it isn't the end of the road. Don't stop at the good or bad, but continue your journey. Or something like that. <laughs> I used Korea New as a font and the beige mild liner as well as the pigment liner in 01. For the word continue, as that is the most important in this quote, I used an olive green mild liner and a cursive font. With the pinkish color, I've drawn a frame around it. Next to the frame, I sketched another branch. But this time, used the beige for one and the light pink for the second.
Behind the mini calendar, I placed some shapes as well and wrote the calendar with my 005 pigment liner. As the page needed a bit more contrast, I went over some of the leaves with a pigment brush liner. And that's it for the front page. Let's turn the page and start creating my calendar. I colored the header with light pink and drew the lines of the calendar with beige. My calendar has only six columns as the space was limited, but I will divide the sixth in two. I've drawn September with the olive green as I did on the front page. Whoopsie, I forgot the E. And unfortunately, I forgot my plan to divide the sixth column and was confused while I wrote the numbers. But it worked to fix that by only writing over the small numbers. So I was lucky there. And that's it for my calendar spread. Let's move on to the content planner and have a tracker. I started with writing the headers as before. Next to it, I marked a small space with pink. With the darker pink, I colored the headers for the boxes. While I waited for them to dry, I placed some shapes in the middle of the pages. With the beige mite liner, I drew the lines of the boxes.
Then I sketched the branches over the dried shapes and went over them with pigment liner as before. I wrote the titles of the boxes with a pigment liner. This time I expanded my trackers with one to track when I did some training with my dog. And the side tab I colored in with green. As the painting didn't stand out enough, I colored the box with a light pale green and darkened the shapes a bit. With that, I really like the look of the spread. Now we can create our weekly spreads. I started by cutting the weekly spread Dutch doors. One thing I disliked about the notebook is that some pages, some pages are glued in the middle and therefore are awkwardly shorter as well as the dots aren't the same on every side. So if you want to create a Dutch door, you can't go by counting the dots, because then one side will be bigger as the other. It's better to measure it with a ruler. Sometimes I also went with the dots and didn't got a straight line. It doesn't matter while working on the page itself. It's only seen when cutting the sides for Dutch doors. Yeah. For the price range that this notebook is in, I would have expected the quality to be a bit better. But Alice, we will make it work. But I thought to mention that. I wrote September with fine liner and wrote a mini calendar under it. Next, I colored the spaces for the days with a light version of the mixed colors. I wrote week in the cursive font under them and used my stamps for the numbers. For the headers of this page I played a bit with the cursive and several fonts. In the corners I sketched some branches again, but this time left out the colored shapes because the pages was already colorful enough. <laughs> I framed the boxes with incomplete lines. And 
colored the tabs in pink and beige. The headers for my shopping lists I've drawn in pink and lined the spaces under it with the green mild liner. As I still had the feeling that there was something missing on my front page, I drew some lines in the edges of the frame and placed some colored shapes in it, in it as well. With that, we finally got to the end of this video. Let's flip through our beautiful pages. How did you find this design? Which spread did you like the most? Let me know in the comments. I hope you're having a wonderful day and to see you in my next video. Bye bye!